Hey everyone, Mike Kleinert here. Today's video is a little kind of vlog style video, but I will show you how you can create proxies with your 4K and 120 frames per second footage as you have maybe the Sony A1, the Sony A7S III or any other cameras which shoot higher than 60 frames because in Premiere Pro it's not possible to create proxies with more than, than 60 frames per second. So in this video I show you the third party app Shutter Encoder where you can create your 120 frames per second proxies. I show you my whole workflow, so stay tuned. So hello, welcome back. So we're right now here in my latest project, which is from the road trip here. You can see different colors here. So I did this because I shot with the A1 and I was testing the different frame rates and the 8K. Then I noticed when I film in 4K with 120 frames per second, which are these clips, then I noticed I like my computer's not playing this at all. So even if I go down to 180 still, um, still is not doing, um, here's still the proxy symbol, which it's just super slow. So usually what I'm doing, I go through all the clips or I say like the whole folder, right click and then proxy, create proxies. I go to my profile here, this is my own proxy profile. What's actually happening if I want to create this 4K with 120 frames per second, in proxy is that Premiere Pro or the media encoder is just creating 60 frames per second proxies, which is crap because if you toggle on and off, it would be jumping. So the clip is actually shorter if you slow it down. So the 60 frames proxy clip is actually shorter if you edit. So if you toggle on the proxy and you say like, okay, the 120 frames per second. And if you have a 24 frames per second timeline, so what you do is like you slow down the clip on 19 point 0.98% so you have a two minute clip but with the proxies actually what is happening the clip is way shorter because it's only in 60 frames per second which is not good so you actually cannot create proxies with Premiere Pro or with the media encoder everything over 60 frames per second it's not possible with Premiere Pro to create proxies. So the solution is this app called Shutter Encoder. So now you have two options. Option one is you checking out all the 120 frames per second clips and then convert proxies with the Shutter Encoder. Or option two, you create all the proxies with the Shutter Encoder. One problem I face because I have different frame rates here is how the hell I can figure out the files I just need for my converter. So you're going through all your footage. So these are all the files and you can't really figure out like which frame rate is which. So what I'm doing is I'm opening all the files in Catalyst, which is a Sony program, which is insane because you can stabilize your footage as well. It has all the metadata in integrated from the camera so it's just a little bit time consuming but we are using it just to figure out like where are all the 120 frames per second files so what we're doing then is we're marking all the 120 frames per second files then right click show in finder and what it does it just shows me all the 120 frames per second files which is insane so then what i'm doing is i'm creating a new folder i rename them to 120 frames per second. So now you know these are all the files with 120 frames per second. Then I go to Shutter Encoder. So now we have here all the files with 120 frames per second. It's not possible to drag and drop. And as you go and browse, then mark this folder here. You have all the files, you implement all the files. Very important first step as well is you need to go here on settings. Once you have this setting open, go to the second option, replace suffix by, and then type in this underscore proxy. Why is because when Premiere Pro is creating always proxy, it's putting at the end part always underscore proxy. You don't have to change anything else, just this, make sure. Then Premiere Pro automatically recognize these files as proxy and you don't have to attach all of them. You are getting this from me here as well. So these are my proxy settings here because I'm creating a watermark on the right side, which looks then like 
this so i really notice i see ah okay this is the proxy file and it goes fluent so I, you can download this on my website and then you have also the settings here so this is the png and this is the settings for shutter encoder and here's also if you click on it um this is where you have to copy it in so if as you see it's in shutter and functions and here is where you copy the settings once you copied my settings into shutter encoder you go here on this little favorite icon click on my proxy watermark double and then there's a window is coming up so what you have to do is you choose this proxy logo here um, that's actually all that's why this window is coming up and then make sure you are in 300 percent and then it's on the right side click apply and that's all so the image scale should be on 720 and the colorimetry should be on converted level if you shoot in lock and the overlay should be marked here as well once you are done you just say where to save your footage you can change it into the proxy folder so you save them here in the proxy folder so that premiere is working better and that's actually all then you convert everything then you click start once you're done you say like okay right click proxy attach proxies then attach the proxies go to the proxy folder here in my case it's here and what Premiere is doing is like scanning all them and you're done and you are ready to edit and work so have fun with it or option two is just literally create all the proxies with this plugin and there's no difference between the media encoder this one is a little bit faster i guess i was testing it a little bit and as you see the color are not changing once you really make sure that you convert level is on this position here and then you can work fluently like there's nothing here if you see like i turn it off it's just like crap it's not working one more thing to check really if you have the 120 frames per second mark them i press p so as you can see then this is the 4K and 120 frames per second file. And here is the proxy, which is 720 and it's also 120 frames per second. So that's actually all done. So what you have to do then is to slow it down. What I do is I go to these files. What I'm doing then is changing to speed and duration. And then for 120 frames per second, slowing down to my 23.976 timeline i have to slow it down by 19.98 percent and this will be very smooth i will also link down below a calculator where you can see how much percent for which frame rate you have to use so this is very handy i always use them because i have sometimes 60 frames per second and if i use a 30 frames per second timeline i have to slow it down differently so keep this in mind but check out the link in the description they are all and i also have a blog post on my website where you can read everything and i hope you enjoy this program i hope you enjoy this video so like and subscribe to my youtube channel for more video sorry for this little shaky vlogging style but i just want to create this video very quickly for you so that you can create awesome footage with your camera and also create proxies because my computer i have a macbook pro 16 inch is going nuts with the 4k and 120 frames per second footage also the 8k stuff but this is what i can uh, convert with premiere pro but for the 120 frames per second i need shutter encoder so i hope you enjoy this video please like and subscribe to my youtube channel and see you in the next video peace and out